I'm Mike Ring with Ring Brothers. Hey everybody, I'm Jim with Ring Brothers. This car right here is for Greg Murphy. He's a, a wheel man from New Zealand. And uh, we're excited that we had the opportunity to build this car for Greg and uh, we hope you guys enjoy it. You know, this car started out in New Zealand, but for the most part, it was, it was just a rolling chassis. The metal work that was done on this car was really nice and we, we didn't have to redo any of their metal work. It's been so long, we forgot all the modifications already. That's why we had to name the car Captive. The whole car is pretty much original sheet metal except for it's been stretched or moved in, in one way or the other. We made the rockers lower, cut off the front fenders so the rocker goes all the way forward. Clearly the uh, engine was a little bit of a problem. We had to actually have it sticking out of the hood. I actually kind of like how this one turned out. All we use is BASF on all of our builds. The paint on this, I guess Mike could probably tell you a little more about how the color came about. Greg came up with it. It was a Porsche Signal Yellow. And I absolutely love it on the car. There's probably close to uh, 800 to 1,000 hours in the bodywork in this car. Ended up putting four coats of base coat on here, and that's with a white underneath because yellow is hard to cover. And we put the yellow down, and then we put six coats of clear on it, and then started with 600 and worked our way to 5,000, and then started to buff. All of our cars are, are painted in a global finishing spray booth. Gary Ragel actually designed the interior in this car, and it was actually pulled off by Steve Pearson from Upholstery Unlimited. You know, as simple as it is, it, it, just, it just looks right in this car. Yeah, the fab on this interior, though, Mark did pretty much everything out of aluminum, and he did a really nice job on, on this car. And the seats, they are Recaro's, but they're beefed up because the car is kind of bigger. We've always felt that one of the hardest things on it on any interior was, you know, just figuring out the steering wheel. If you can't find something that works, you just build it. And uh, we feel like you can really customize them, paint them to match your column or whatever you would like to do. We're pretty excited to launch these wheels. I think it'll help a lot of people and uh, we can't wait for people to see them. Pretty much every part of this car is custom, although we really want it to just scream charger without being heavily modified. There's a lot of just one-off stuff, like the, the turn indicators that we just did one-off, and those were done in a manual mill. Got our hood hinges in it, our trunk hinges. It's got a Motex system in it. We made the center dash pod for that. Well, the supercharger cover was just obvious to us that it, we couldn't have the blower sticking through the hood with the bulge of the, of the supercharger itself off to one side. It just didn't look right. So we actually made another one that uh, centers the, the nose of, this, of the supercharger. So there's a lot of little things on this car that we've kind of hid for Greg. We don't want to tell everybody what they are. We'll let Greg find them, hopefully. It's got a new uh, Hellcat in it from Chrysler, basically a Hellcat crate motor. I mean, it was really important to us to use as much stuff off the, you know, the new Challenger as we could on this car. You know, the stuff all just works together and it works right. You know, you gotta have the right oil and that's really why we use Motul uh, in all of our builds, just because we know it's, it's gonna protect that motor and, and uh, we feel comfortable. The car is as stunning underneath as it is on top. The exhaust was built first on this car and then we, we uh, built the floors around the exhaust, the tunnel. Obviously on all of our builds we've used Flowmaster, you know, how can you beat the sound? It's got big bare brakes on the car, uh, Bowler transmission 6 speed. QA1 shocks all the way around with uh, their QA1 carbon drive shaft in the car. These cars we feel need a heavy spoked wheel. They need a wheel that looks like it can handle the power and the, the weight of this car. You know, obviously HRE did the wheels for us. They're the recoil wheels that uh, Greg liked without the hoop on them. It's simple, but yet very detailed when you look at it. Hard to beat the Michelins. We got 345s in the back and uh, 295, 35 up front. So it's got big rubber all the way around and uh, hopefully it can stay on that road in New Zealand because 
I don't think he wants to ship it back again. So we're gonna get in this thing and, and take it out and, and do a little test drive with it. See if we can shave the tires a little bit for Greg and uh, don't worry about it, Greg. We'll put that money that you guys signed in the, the upper bar there uh, back in the back seat so you have something to buy some rubber with.